not sunk in really, but signed yesterday and just over the moon with it. It's got to keep going, keep working hard. I want to get in first team squad now. It's amazing just to come through the ranks from being here since a young lad and playing to watch this team and then being in the squad with him and actually being a professional now. It's just unreal, absolutely unreal. Looking back, you're just out all the time. Wherever it was, you'd throw your jumpers down for a pulse. Falling in love with it was easy, really, because it was just all I knew. Now, I was born in, born in Barnsley, brought up like, on the outskirts of there, and such a good upbringing, good area, great friends. Outside my house, I lived on like a, a, a hill, and it was, it was on a bend with a wall straight behind it, but it was on someone's house. So literally, I'd been trying to score goals on, in this street sign and I have the, the people coming out. Come on, it's getting late now. All we can hear is this ball bouncing about off our wall. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd be a footballer, but a professional footballer. And I always wanted to play for my, for my hometown, and I, and I did that, and I always... Whatever John achieved, he worked for. He jolly well did. Me and my dad would have, like, any opportunity, we'd be yeah, out on the street or we'd, we'd walk to, like, school fields. I always, I always went to the same goalposts to play in if we went up to the, up to the field. Same, same position, always do the same thing, try and, try and cross the ball like Beckham. I, I loved Beckham as a kid. Try and do his technique. Still you, you, you dream big, you know, you can, you can get there and sometimes it's not going to be the easiest path, but... And I always had a dream of, like, oh, what, what would it be like to play for England? And, and you know, when I played in, for England, I thought, like, you know, my, my, my dream would literally come true. It's, uh, great night. The John Stones. Stone had more personality than all of us here to wear in this room. Than everyone here, guys. So and I like that place. I love it. But under pressure, the people criticize him, the people say, well, I won. he went there and play again, and when I play, when we talk, when we talk. So I am delighted to have John. With all his huge and amount of mistakes they have, I love him. I love this kind of guys with this personality. Because it's not easy to play centre defender with this, uh, this, uh, with this manager. It's not easy. It's the, maybe it's the first player we signed when we arrived here five years ago for, for a little more than four, five seasons. Uh, and he knows exactly what we have to do, what he has to do. So unfortunately we couldn't do it in the previous years, but now he has done it and he was himself. And he settled perfectly in his private life, was so important, no injuries. And, uh, and he can turn regularly and show his personality with the ball, without the ball, and winning duels. So, yeah, we are the light. We are the light, and, and especially because he's an incredible nice person. His mom and dad must be so proud uh, how nice person he is. And um, his daughter has a, a top father. So, and that's why, when the nice guys and always are in his situation, in the good moments and bad moments, helping the team, the people he's close to him, we are more than delighted that he can leave the situation. It just, in the beginning, he has to continue. He has to be in the right position and continue doing what he has done to do this season. As you were saying before about being a kid at Barnsley and just imagining days like this, yeah. now it's actually here. Do you have to sort of pinch yourself a little bit? Yeah, it, do, it doesn't seem real, to be honest. You're used to watching it on the TV and uh, it's, it's, it'll sink in, I think, eventually, but um, 